Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download, burn to a disk, and install Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This is different from a previous video that I made uh, where I install Windows 8 as a virtual machine. This time I'm actually going to be installing it natively onto my uh, machine here, this very same machine that I'm using to uh, run Windows 7. I have another hard drive plugged in, um, a spare hard drive that I'll be using to format, wipe out, and use as my uh, Windows 8 installation. So first things first, what I want to do is uh, download Windows 8. So I'm at Google here, and I'll type in Windows 8 download, and uh, it should show up as one of the options here is Windows 8 uh, Consumer Preview. And uh, I'll also provide a link, uh, a direct link to um, the download page here in the description. So uh, right here, it's a little kind of confusing where it has this big button here, but that's not the uh, actual ISO that you want to burn to a disk. What you got to do is click on this right here where it says ISO format. And once you click on that, you have a couple of options here in the English language download 64-bit um, or 32-bit. I'm going to go ahead and do 64-bit because I have uh, more than 8 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs to be exact, and I want to utilize all of the memory I have in my machine. Uh, for those of you who have maybe a slower machine, single core, only 2 gigs of RAM, uh, then I suggest using a 32-bit uh, for a much better experience. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit, and all you got to do is just click on download here. And it's going to start downloading. It's 3.3 gigs, so it's going to take a while. Uh, my computer says it's going to take 36 minutes. Yours could take a few hours. So um, I'm going to minimize that through the magic of television. I already have it here downloaded. And uh, you can't just double-click on it. What you got to do is actually uh, use a image burning program. And if you have Windows 7, it's already got... Uh, a built-in image burning program. If you don't, then download something called Image Burn, and that will allow you to uh, burn um, uh, disks, uh, images uh, from an ISO, right? Um, if you just burn this as a data disk, as a single file, the ISO file onto a DVD, you're not going to be able to boot from it, right? This has to kind of unpack itself onto a disk. Um, so when you right click on it in Windows 7 and you go to open with here you can choose Windows disk image and burner I have many other uh, programs here that can do it but I'll use the Windows disk image burner and uh, I've only got one optical drive and I've already got a blank DVD inside you have to use a DVD right and then I'll just click on burn and uh, this should take about 10 to 15 minutes once that is done we're going to reboot I'm gonna switch cameras and we're gonna reboot uh, the system and um, I'm gonna go into the BIOS and make sure that uh, my computer will boot from the optical drive so uh, stay tuned alright so my computer just finished burning the disk I'm gonna go ahead and restart and go into the BIOS uh, now your computer uh, may already boot uh, while a disk is inside inserted um, but uh, just to make sure for myself I'm going to uh, go into the BIOS and make sure that it is set to uh, reboot with the optical drive first so once you see the screen here the BIOS screen I'm pressing delete on the keyboard repeatedly now I'm in the BIOS here um, in advance you can see here that the right down here first boot device is CD-ROM and it's good to go there all right so that's it and then we're going to save and exit setup now my machine is rebooting it's going to detect that there is a disk and then I'm going to press spacebar or any key to boot from the CD DVD drive and this logo here indicates that uh, Windows 8 beta is starting up as you can see by the beta fish that's the reason why they chose that I suppose so this is gonna take a few minutes I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up into uh, the installation screen alright so now we are at the installation screen 
and uh, I'm just going to choose English as a language, click on next, then install now and then we're going to get to uh, partitioning the hard drive. Now this is a very delicate operation um, if you're sort of new to this thing and um, you don't want to accidentally erase your uh, Windows hard drive, your original Windows 7 hard drive, I suggest that you uh, unplug your main hard drive and just have your extra spare hard drive that you're installing Windows 8 on um, installed and turned on and uh, the only drive that you'll be using so that you don't accidentally uh, delete your hard drive. Alright, so now it's asking us to insert a serial key and if you look in the description I will have saved um, or copied and pasted the uh, installation key that you have here. It's kind of universal. Everybody uh, that gets uh, that downloads this is pretty much using the same key. Um, so there's not really a whole lot of security issues or authenticating with this. Just go ahead and enter that in and click on next. All right, and then you get to the license agreement. Click on the accept the terms. Click on next, and then we're going to do a custom. And then uh, I have another hard drive here. So this is my other hard drive, the drive zero partition two and drive zero partition one. Be very careful, do not touch those there. And this is the drive here, drive one, partition one, new volume. That's my uh, hard drive that I have there. And so what I'll go ahead and do is just click on drive options. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And uh, this goes without saying that you should not have any data on your spare drive there, that uh, you are completely wiping out this hard drive. So uh, now that I've done that, I'm gonna click on new and then apply on the uh, drive one there, right? And then click on next. And now um, we're going to be installing uh, Windows. So uh, what I'm thinking is that uh, it's going to utilize the existing uh, boot partition that was already on my other hard drive uh, that you saw there that had Windows 7 on it and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to detect the other Windows installation so that I can do a dual boot. It's probably going to offer me a uh, some type of menu uh, system for me to dual boot uh, Windows. Alright, so uh, we're just going to wait for this to finish installing and then um, boot into uh, Windows 8. Alright, so we finally made it to the desktop, uh, but we're not completely done yet. Now, this extra bit uh, that you're going to watch is um, entirely up to you. You don't necessarily have to do this, uh, and that is installing the drivers for your particular motherboard. Um, what you can do is go to um, the uh, device manager, right? So if you uh, go up to settings here and then click on device manager, it's going to bring up the devices and you'll notice here that uh, everything's all good. There aren't any um, issues. I don't have any hardware issues, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and download the drivers um, uh, that came with my motherboard, uh, particularly the uh, my Gigabyte AMD Motherboard 9 series. Now this disk was made for uh, Windows 7 um, and not Windows 8, so you'll get an error, but I'll show you how to uh, run the program. Um, that's on the disk uh, in Windows 7 compatibility um, and so I'll just go ahead and throw this in right now alright so I've inserted the disk and uh, this is just as an example if uh, you had some hardware issues and you needed drivers let's say to get your Ethernet um, card working and it's on that disk there and you have to get it installed so that you can download updates and whatnot and finish completing your uh, Windows 8 install so um, I know that uh, it doesn't have uh, the icons for my computer and you don't have the traditional start button here but I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, the old method of uh, adding the icons to your home screen so when you right click on the desktop here you go to screen resolution oops you go to personalize over on the left here it says change desktop icons so uh, when you click on that you can select the icons that will be on your desktop there and so uh, here we have my computer I'll go ahead and start that up and here's the disk um, that you want to run and basically I'll just go ahead and double click that click on yes 
actually I should have right clicked on it and go to open and then we have this option here um, to run this file but this file right here um, again probably won't run in Windows 8 so what you can do is right click on it and go to properties and then in properties there's a compatibility tab and you can run it uh, run the com uh, program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 here so I'll click on apply OK and now I will run as administrator alright so this is my particular motherboard uh, manufacturers uh, installation software by Gigabyte and uh, I'm not going to install everything instead I'm just going to uncheck um, a few things here like I'll just do the audio driver uh, SATA drivers USB drivers um, and that's about it for my particular system here so I'll just go ahead and click on install all and uh, um, now it's saying that uh, that this program would need some updates from Windows and uh, I'll go ahead and just download and install this feature so now it's going to download and install everything and uh, after this is complete I'm actually going to um, uh, check to see if there's any uh, updates needed from uh, Windows or Windows 8 alright so my motherboard drivers are fully installed uh, everything's updated and um, now I'm going to show you how to go to Windows update and so if you mouse hover your mouse over to the right here and you can go to settings then you can go to uh, uh, sorry more settings right down at the bottom right here and then um, you have this nice PC setting menu system here and you can scroll down to where it says Windows update and now it's going to check uh, for updates you can hit this button here and click on check for updates and it'll look for it but uh, I've already got 17 here uh, updates waiting for me so I'll just go ahead and click on install now it's going to download and install all of the updates and uh, while that's downloading and installing um, what I can show you is um, downloading um, the last thing that I need which is the um, what is it the uh, drivers for the graphics card alright so uh, now we're going to install um, download and install the graphics card drivers and I have an AMD graphics card in here and uh, so I'll just go to the AMD website and so I'll choose the graphics card that I have here desktop graphics I have the Radeon um, HD series and it's a 6000 series operating system uh, I like to note that they do have a Windows 8 preview um, drivers here for your graphics card which is really nice uh, to see that there are a lot of support or they are trying to support Windows 8 so uh, the download file is here so I'll just click on that and then it's gonna ask me if I want to save it I'll click on save and now it's downloading the uh, graphics drivers and I'm pretty sure that's gonna download and install um, without a hitch so um, yeah we'll go through that in a second alright so now that it's finished installing I'm gonna go ahead and click on run or uh, I'm sorry it's finished uh, downloading and then I'll go ahead and click on install to install my drivers and uh, that pretty much finishes up uh, all of the installing that I need to do for my system and now I'm ready to enjoy Windows 8 in all its glory. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.